Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night everyone welcome back to a new video I'm just filming this because I just put all of the footage onto my laptop to edit it but unfortunately the mic wasn't quite plugged in my camera properly you basically can't hear anything that I say <laughs> so I thought that I would just refilm the first part of this video that I filmed and then it will go into the homeware haul that I then filmed after I changed my battery and it seems to go back to normal. I basically just wanted to film a little life update vlog as I haven't been on here very much. Um, basically, uh, if you watched my couple of my last videos, you will know that I was talking about my granddad being quite poorly and unfortunately he did pass away. Um, he passed away on the 5th of April. Um, so that's been really difficult to come to terms with. He was quite poorly, he's been in and out of hospital for most of this year. But yeah, it was touch and go for a while, we were thinking he was going to come home. Um, but then unfortunately he got really ill and passed away. And then also, if you guys watched any of my other videos, you would have seen, um, you would have seen my dog in the videos um, and unfortunately about two weeks ago we had to have her put to sleep because we found out that she had cancer which was quite a shock even though she was like a 17 year old dog I thought that she was going to live forever <laughs> um, but yeah she was our family dog but she lived with me and my boyfriend for the last few years but basically she went for a, to have a groom and um, the lady said that she was like wincing in a bit of pain it seemed which she never did that at home so it was kind of a bit like oh um, so basically they took her to the vets and um, she had some tests done and she had cancer and we didn't even know she didn't show any signs of pain. Well, I think we did. We she didn't show that she was in pain because she was um, basically like numb from the waist down, like in her back legs. But yeah, so she um, was put to sleep two weeks ago, Friday. So we've been dealing with that as well, and it's been really strange being at home not having her here. We're so glad that. We got to have so many years with her, not many people can say they've had like 15 plus years with their dog, so. So that is why I haven't been uploading videos, but hopefully from now on I will start uploading regularly and yeah, be back on here. So yeah, that is basically what I said in the beginning of this video. And then what I was saying is that I got some new bits from Argos because we needed some new stuff for our kitchen. So I will now go back to the vlog and carry on the vlog from here. So yeah, I got a lovely new kettle for the kitchen. We really needed some new utensils because um, the ones we have are falling apart. So. I don't think these are branded ones, I think these are just, they're the Argos brand. They're just these stainless steel ones with a silicone handle. I like those. So in there you'd get a potato masher, a spoon, a 
one of these fish slice things. A ladle. And then you also get another spoon. And you also get a little pot for them to come in. That looks so cute. So you have all new utensils for cooking and then the next thing I got was some new bamboo chopping boards I only have one plastic chopping board and it's kind of had its day to be honest I did have ones um other ones but I don't even know what happened to them and I'm trying to like veer away from plastic things you know so this is what they look like they're just wood like bamboo chopping board and this one says vegetables and this one's got like a grey colour on the side. And then this one, it's a bit smaller, this one's for meat, but we don't need meat, so I'll just use it for something. And this one has like a yellow paint around the side. A smaller one, which is for fruit, and this has got like a dark grey paint around the side. And I thought, they're really cute. They're like stacked on your kitchen side. I got some new saucepans. I don't remember what brand they are. But they have this non-stick coating and it's all peeled off and all of my saucepans are like mismatched because I have some from an old set and then some from a newer set. But all of the like non-stick is coming off and oh, that scared me. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to get some stainless steel pans, some of the Argos home range stainless steel pans. I didn't think this was too bad actually, it was um, £54 for three um pans i was looking at another brand but they didn't have they were all stainless steel and the handle was also stainless steel and i didn't want to well, have to worry about like burning my hand off <laughs> these did have better reviews they're they were a bit more expensive than the other ones i was looking at but um these have a silicone handle and a silicone lid so is what the lid looks like it's um, got a silicone handle here silicone around the edge and it's got this little vent um, on the side so you don't have to worry about taking the lid off to drain things <gasps> they're so nice so this is what the pan looks like I think this is the smallest one and you've got the silicone handle here <gasps> they look so nice yeah I'm so excited for those exciting. I did wonder about using stainless steel utensils with stainless steel pans. That could be an error but I'll see how I go. I'm so happy with those. I just thought that I would show you the new bits that I got for the kitchen because I've been cooking and baking lots so I just wanted to show you those. I don't know what's going on with the weather. It's supposed to be a bit warmer this week though so hopefully I can get some gardening done, some weeding done. Belle's ashes are coming back next week. Well, they're already back, but my mum's picking them up on Friday. And I've got a little plaque to make for her, so maybe I'll film doing that. Um, to put in the garden.
weeding of the raised bed, which I'll show you. I cut the grass. James is going to strim it for me later because strimmers scare me. Um, and then out the front, um, I have some lilies and some dahlias growing. And I just needed to top them up with some topsoil. And I also need to find some bamboo because they're a bit wobbly. Um, and also I had to pull out a load of bindweed at the front because it was like growing up the house. I've done all that today, I've tidied up. It's surprisingly hot out there today. It's really overcast and grey but it's very very humid. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some editing now and have a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. 